Okay, so question three, uh, 3.1, we are asked to prove that this sum here that is given, this one here, is a convergence uh, geometric series. So we must show all calculations for that. So um, for us to prove that this sum is a convergence, we need to first identify the three terms of the sequence, right? So when k is equal to one, we're going to substitute that into the value of k of 1 and we find uh, 12 if you punch your calculator when k is equal to 2 say 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus 2 um, equals to 4 and when k is equal to 3 we have 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus sorry about that so it's 2 minus into 3 and then we get a value of 4 over 3, right? So we're having our, um, our terms. The first term is 12, the second term is 4, the third term is 4 over 3. So now, for us to prove that, uh, to prove convergence, we need to first find the ratio of these terms. So this is term number 1, term number 2, term number 3, right? So the ratio is equal to term number two over term number one is equal to term number three over term number two, right? And um, we find four over 12 is equal to four over three divided by four. So um, the ratio that we found here is one over three, right? So, um, and for, to prove convergence, we know that R must lie between minus one and one. And since we found R to be one over three, it definitely lies between minus one and one. So therefore this, the, the series here converges, right? So we've answered the question. So now we're going to do 3.2, where we are told that if the sum this sum here, which if you take a look is the same as this one here, the previous one, just that it starts at k is equals to p, right? So if the sum is equals to 2 over 9, we must identify the value of p, right? So for us to identify the value of p, so we're having the sum to infinity when k is equals to p, uh, multiply by 4, 3, 2, minus k it's equal to 2 over 9. So we know that the sum to infinity is equal to 2 over 9. That's the first thing that we know. And we are given that k is equal to p, right? So we are asked to find p. So we are asked to find the value of p, right? So for us to find the value of p, we already know the, 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 the number of terms. Uh, the previous terms that we found was uh, 12, 4 and 4 over 3, right? But because here it says k is equals to p, so you're going to first find that k is equals to p and substitute where there's k. 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 minus p. So this is going to be our first term. So it's going to be 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus p, right? So this is going to be T1, our first term, our value of A, right? T1 is the same as um, equals to A, right? So yeah, um, what we're going to do is this. So we're going to write our sum to infinity, which is equals to A over 1 minus R, where our sum to infinity is 2 over 9, right? And our value of A is going to be what we found, this part here right which is 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus p divided by 1 minus our r from previous question was 1 over 3 right so we're going to cross multiply um cross multiply this expression here right so but before we do that um let's first deal with what's at the bottom here right so what you want to have is we will have 2 over 9 is equals to 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus p divided by so 1 minus 1 over 3 will give you 2 over 3 then we cross multiply we're going to have 2 over 9 multiplied by 2 over 3 being equals to 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of minus p right so um what you're going to do is we're just going to 
um, if you multiply these two here, right? So, you, and you also multiply these two here, you're gonna have four over 27 is equals to 36 multiplied by three to the power of minus P, right? And then we divide by this 36. So divide by 36, divide by 36. So you're going to have one over two, four, three is equals to three to the power of minus P, right? So two, four, three, is the same as three to the power of five, right? So um, we're just gonna write that down. So it's going to be one over three to the power of five is equals to three to the power of minus P. And then you take this up, you will have um, three to the power of minus five is equals to three to the power of minus P. So if same base, we're just gonna drop the exponent. So minus five is equals to minus P. Divide by negative one both sides, we have P being equals to five. So our p value is equals to 5. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.